Hey, what's up everybody? Tiger Flash here and today I'm going to show you how to install macOS version 11.1 for so Big Sur onto uh, unsupported Macs. So a little disclaimer here, it was not as clear for the first release, which is the uh, version 11.0.1. But you know, with as time goes by, I've seen that uh, it works really better on um, 2012s and 2013 Macs since they have metal support GPU. So uh, for 2011s, usually it works pretty well with, you know, some slowdowns because there's no metal supported graphics. 2010s, you know, most of the time it's going to work when it's going to be slow. And for uh, 2009, most of the time it won't even work. So I don't know if it's going to install on older than 2012 with the uh, dispatcher. So definitely let me know in the comment section. But with the older one, like like the manual one that I've shown you uh, in the latest video where you actually had to download macOS and uh, everything yourself, it was installing on uh, older models than 2012, but sometimes it was just not working as well as on, uh, as on a newer computer like 2012-2013. So uh, to be truly honest here, uh, I genuinely think that Big Sur runs better and faster on my uh, mid-2012 MacBook Pro than Catalina did, which was officially supported. So that says a lot. Like Dispatcher, it's not gonna slow down your computer at all if you have the 2012 or 2013. For earlier models, it's gonna probably slow it down. But 2012, 2013s, you're safe. Do it. Uh, it's gonna work flawlessly. So um, as of now, uh, the release of uh, macOS 11.1 has, I think it has been released like uh, 24 hours ago, ago or something like that. So I'm gonna show you how to install it on unsupported Macs. The first steps, you want to go to Ben Sova Pasture. So it's not actually the same one that I've shown you in the first video, but this one, if you download the latest release right here, so you click on latest and you see here the beta. And now you want to install patchsur.dmg. You wanna click on that. Okay, so now you just download it. And uh, also I've heard that uh, they are working on a patch that will actually automatically update. So most likely in the near future, you won't be, uh, you won't need to install like with a USB key, uh, the version each time it's gonna actually normally update uh, via normal updates. So this is really uh, interesting. But for now you have to do it again with the USB key, at least with this uh, patcher, which I trust a lot. So I like to use uh, this patcher. Okay, so now it's pretty straightforward from there. Uh, I mean, it's it's probably easier than uh, what I've shown in the first video because uh, it, it basically the patcher will download Mac OS Big Sur for you. So you just right click, so two finger click, you open the file and then you open it and then you click on start, then continue, then you pretend that you read that. And then watch out, you're gonna go to releases. So then you continue. Then you see clean install or update. So you want to actually update. So I mean, you can clean install right there. I mean, uh, when I first tried it, clean install was not working, but as it seems you can clean install. So yeah, I won't make the video for clean install. I mean, this video will show you how to clean install too. So you just want update and now it's gonna download the files. And there you go. You want to download macOS 11.1 and it's downloading it. So that's basically the process to update it, but it's gonna be the same to uh, make a clean install. Okay, so once the download is finished, you're gonna basically end up on this page and now you're gonna need a USB key. So this USB key is actually a uh, 32 gigabyte USB key. It's actually the one I use for macOS 11.0.1 install. And I'm going to use it again for macOS 11.1. So you need at least uh, 16 gigabyte uh, for your USB key to uh, do this install. Okay, so now I just insert the USB key. As you can see, it's right there. And then, you know, download install assistant. So you're going to ju just want to type your password. So I'm going to type it real quick. And boom. Type your password. Continue. And then... Download install it's install in package. It's gonna actually install it. So here you have to select your volume. So of course, this is the hard drive. This is the USB, as you can see, install macOS Big Sur. And this is my Windows partition. So I'm gonna select install macOS Big Sur. So 
you have to select the USB key. So if it's like no name, select no name, and you press on continue, then all of the things on your USB key will be erased. So make sure there's nothing important on this key. And you press continue. And it's gonna basically create the install media for you. So no need to do like I did in a previous video, you know, using terminal and going to the Apple website. No, 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 this patcher will do it for you. So little disclaimer here, uh, my friend actually uh, tried this method uh, earlier today and I saw a YouTuber that had the same issue. And uh, yeah, it seems like if your USB key is not able to eject, uh, it's gonna not be able to uh, probably install Big Sure on the USB key. So make sure you eject it before and you just plug it in so uh, the finder is not trying to talk to the USB key. Um, before you do this install because the patchers need to eject the key or you know format it to be able to uh, to uh, install big sure on it so make sure that your key uh, like i mean if it's not working eject your usb key put it back in it should work okay so little disclaimer again of course when you update a mac to a new version especially if it's not supported you need to back it up uh, just to be safe you know you back it up like on time machine on normal external hard drive you know just to play it safe if something happened your uh, data is going to be backed up but also uh, on my previous video a lot of people comment uh, that uh, the creating install media was taking a long time i mean it, it really depends on your USB stick if that you're using, if it's really slow or, you know, the kind of damage, you know, or slow. I mean, I have USB sticks that just to copy 200 megabytes is going to take 20 minutes. But this one is pretty fast. So, you know, it's going to take around 20 to 30 minutes with this USB stick. If you have an, SD, an external SSD, it's going to be really quick. And even an external like 2.5 inch hard drive is going to be way quicker than this USB key. But yeah, normally 20, 30 minutes, you're good. If your key is real slow, I've seen people like it was taking like three, four hours to install, but their USB key was just garbage, you know. But yeah, normally 30 minutes is a good time to create this install media. Okay, so now it's finished. A uh, little disclaimer again, it took around 45 minutes with this USB key. So it's definitely longer than a normal uh, create install media process, probably because of the patcher and everything. But now, which is good about this patchers, it actually did everything for us. So now you can close everything on the computer. So what's left running this and this, and boom, now you just leave the USB key in and it's named install macOS picture, it was automatically named, and you just restart uh, your computer. And now you wanna hold the option key. Okay, so as you can see, I'm holding the option key right now. The computer is booting. And boom. Now you actually want to choose install macOS Big Sure. Okay, so once this is done, you will just click on install macOS Big Sure with the mouse actually. And continue. And there you go. Continue. Accept accept and then you want to choose your hard drive so in my case in my case it's wd ssd mac os but for you it's going to probably be uh, macintosh hd so there you go you press continue and then it's going to just install mac os big sure 11.1 so disclaimer again uh, for the step where i actually booted via um, the uh, option key you needed to move with uh, the arrow to be able to um, go on to uh, install macOS Big Sure and you accept with uh, the enter key. Okay, so once this is finished, it took around an hour. An hour. Uh, as you can see, we are now on macOS Big Sur version 11.1, but we have no Wi-Fi. Don't worry. So here, you actually have to go into the Finder, into your Application folder, and you have to find a document which is called Patcher. Wait a second. Patcher, Patch Sir. This one. You right click on it, open. And it's gonna ask, you say open. Then you wanna press on Patch Text. There you go, continue. So there, there's actually a little bug. The, the Patcher doesn't recognize the USB key, but don't worry, just press on Force Skip Check. That's it. 
there you want to enter your password again just do it continue and then it's going to basically install the patcher so once this is done uh, you have to reboot reboot your computer and you're going to have wi-fi hair drop everything is going to work uh, as it should so there you go just finished took around a minute restart to finish and it's gonna boot up your computer and finish the update and wi-fi is gonna work okay so there you go the computer has been reboot you can eject the usb key there you go you can trash the this the dmg file okay and then as you can see if you go to wi-fi we have wi-fi and airdrop is also working so just to show you that airdrop is working i'm gonna do it since people were concerned okay so airdrop here and here and it's waiting and there you go it's gonna have there you go right in the download folder boom and if i open it as you can see just close this boom this is exactly the miniature of the video so now if i want to go like on google chrome search for youtube just to prove to you that there's wi-fi and i can uh, uh, another tj hunt video i oh, know that's jonathan morrison sorry but as you can see the video is playing yo jonathan here and welcome to episode three of 50 under 50. and just to show you one last time mac os big Sur version 11.1 macbook pro 13 inch mid 2012 so unsupported so there you go i hope that you've enjoyed this video that it has been useful to you and uh, as i said uh, the guy is actually working on a patcher that will update uh, normally uh, like any uh, mac will update like uh, from uh, system pre preferences and uh, here updates so um, he's working on a patcher that will actually work with uh, those update but for now you have to do it again like this so um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and i'll see you later ciao ciao